said to me was plenty. I sure pulled a boner when I arrested those claim jumpers. Yes, I must admit you did. How about it's all in the day's work, Constable? You know, there's a possibility, just a bare possibility, mind you, that uh, I may be able to make a fair amount out of you yet. You know, I've often wondered how I ever got along before I met you. You know, Kelly, I've often wondered that, too. Mm. Huh? I always had my suspicions about you. Hmm. At her of angels' wings. Oh, I'm so sorry it blew right out of my head. Just as I said, from heaven. There's no doubt about that. My handkerchief, if you don't mind. Oh, no, a name, please. And the telephone number. Is that necessary? Oh, yes, you see, uh, in the matter of recovering uh, lost articles, section 300 oh, provides Wait just a, a moment. Wait just a moment. Can't you see you're frightening our celestial visitor? Now, miss, if you will be so kind as to give me the oh, details, really? I'll be more than happy. It isn't as important as all that. Oh, but it is. It's beautiful. It's divine. It's Shalimar. Well, an angel with a sense of humor. <laughs> Up from the States. Well, do I look so much like an outsider? Or do you know everyone in the territory? Oh, yes. Sergeant Renfrew knows everyone, especially the ladies. Mm -hmm. uh, how about a stroll around the deck? A splendid idea. You wait here, Constable. Uh-uh. It was my idea, Sergeant. How about it, Angel? Oh, how about my handkerchief? Yes, how about her handkerchief? <laughs> Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Agent. Now, you see, you scared our little angel away. Two RVB3 calling QX9. 2RVB3 calling QX9. QX9, come in, please. Dan. Hello, 2RVB3. Hello, 2RVB3. Oh, Fred, we can't go through with it tonight. But I can't call it off now, Seth. The men are all set. There's no way to reach them. But, Fred. Just a minute, QX9. Are you there, QX9? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead, Ann. Come in. There are two Mounties on board. Mounties? Oh, that's bad. But we can't stop now. It's impossible to reach Slant Eye. He's waiting in the launch at the mouth of the Escarita. Oh, Seth, be sure and let Lamont know about the Mounties. That's all, 2RBB3. QX9 signing off. But Fred, wait. Fred. Fred. 2RBB3 calling QX9. 2RBB3 calling QX9. Come in, Fred.
got you, eh? Here's where I cramp your style. You're the center of attraction. You're so easy on the eye. Please don't think that I'm a bore when I'm knocking at your door. I'll tell you why. You're the center of attraction. Like a queen upon a throne. Please don't think that I'm a bore when I'm knocking at your door. I'll tell you why. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to frighten you. I was just a bit surprised. And the police? Well, yes, of course. But uh, where's Sergeant Renfrew? Oh, Renfrew. Why, uh, he's given up the competition. But that's the way with him. One minute one girl, the next minute another. Thoroughly unreliable. Oh, really? Well, come on, I'll show you. I'll surprise him at his neat ferry his work. Please don't keep me out here waiting. Open up the door to your heart. Angel, while I'm out here waiting, you're keeping us both apart. You're the center of attraction on account of all your charms. You're too There's a woman in there. Through. Wish that I were holding you here in my arms. The constable says she's very beautiful. Hi, Miss Davis. Uh, Mr. Lamont, did you know that there were two Mounties on board? Yes. We saw you talking to them. Yeah, fortune in gold in the captain's cabin and the law has to show up. What are we going to do? We've got it all figured out. Here's our plan. You keep the Mounties entertained. The launch will pull alongside after dark, pick up the gold, and deliver it to your brother on the plane. to picture this north country. It's big trees and swift streams. Picturesque people. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. I saw the launch leaving the shore. Well, we're ready. I can't help but feel sorry for poor Constable Kelly. So do I. Those trappers have been busy answering questions all evening. I've told you 15 times I don't know anything about trapping muskrats. But would it make any difference to you if we took canoes to go up to the big lagoon? I don't care if you walk. Say, now about the beaver and the otter. You ought to jump in the river. It's rather a mean trick, but uh, confidentially, I had to get rid of him. But why get rid of him? Well, when a man's talking to an angel, he doesn't want an audience around. Oh, what is this angel business? Here is right here. Right on your handkerchief. Oh, A. Hey. Well, that's for Anne. And to everyone else. Angel to me. Mm, you do have an interesting line. <laughs> yes. 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 What do you say? Yes. So, the minute I turn my back, you start talking. Did you give those gentlemen the required information, my good man? That was a filthy trick. Someday, I'm going to be transferred to a district a thousand miles away from you, and when that day comes, I'm going to be the happiest man in the whole Northwest Territory. Is 
Looks like she's going to cross our bow. We better give her a signal. Stop or I'll shoot. I'll take the key to your cabin. What is this? Never mind. Hand over that key. Why, if you think that you could... the argument and stop the boat. Come on. Hey, listen. Sounds like a motorboat. Yeah, making fast time, too. Why the worried look, Angel? What? Oh, did I look worried? He wouldn't know whether you were worried or bored. Listen, if Angel's bored, she got that way since you joined the party. You seem to be slowing down. I hope this is where you get off. Shots came from here, all right. Yeah. Gee, this light is about as good as nothing. Yeah. Going down the hall. I was the only one who knew about that shipment of gold. Oh, I remember now. We came down here to find out what was wrong. Yeah, and we sure found out. Found out what? There were just a couple of hens shut up in a coop. I sure laid an egg. <laughs> and without a cackle. Hold it. Lock you in with the other passengers. It'll look better. Shut up. Get off the floor, with it. Come on inside. Make it snappy. Rusty, take care of her. Where are the Mounties? Locked in the hole. Come on, get inside. This is a pretty kettle of fish. Watch the deck. Here, Ted. This to me and on my boat. I'm going out there. Come on, Captain. 
No use getting yourself shot. The man is take care of them. That's right, the mounties. But where are they? Yeah, that's it. Where are they? You didn't bring your knitting needles along with you, did you? No, but I'm trying awfully hard to think of a yarn to tell the inspector. If we ever get out of here. Oh, he'll realize that the great Sergeant Renfrew Turned was... out to be a chump. You give an awful lot to know what's going on up there. Everything set? They'll be lucky if they get this tub started by morning. Good. Say, when are we gonna get out of here? I can't afford to stay here forever. I bet they take all your equipment. Yeah. Hmm? They're pulling away. Break down that door. Yeah, that the oh, oh, break it down. over to reach Bird Island and meet the plane. We're not meeting any plane. We're going straight ahead. Well, what is this? You get it. Finished him. Okay. Head her in. We'll transfer to the canoes and make to the totem trail. Didn't they got your gold? They got my gold? Yeah, right under the eyes of Renfrew and Kelly. You know who's on board? No. Ann Chambers. And her brother? I don't know about him. Come on. Well, we couldn't follow them last night. Uh, we were locked in the hold. I suppose you'd rather skip that part of the incident. You figure they might land up that way? Huh? All right, Sergeant. 
Carry on. Yes, sir. I'm sending in a written report. Was he sore? Well, he didn't suggest pinning any medals on me. Oh, boy, does that break my heart. Come on. Here I'm your father's place. Me take care whole place. Your pa, him pay. Me take him care place same like my own. Oh, thank you so much. Me take him. Oh, no, I can manage. Thanks just the same. Me go in. Me show you place. Good, clean place. Oh, no, don't bother. Give me the key. Thank you again. Uh, Goodbye. Uh. Who did it, Sergeant? No, I'm sorry, sir. They got away before we could identify them. We'd have gotten them, though, if we hadn't been locked up in the hold. No, oh, so that's where you were. Well, now, don't worry, Mr. Harrington. We'll get them, all right. I have a hunch where they'll make for shore, and we plan to head them off by crossing Pine Ridge. Well, I hope you're right. So do we. RVB3 calling QX9. 2RVB3 calling QX9. Hello, QX9. Hello, 2RVB3. This is QX9. Go ahead, Ann. Oh, Fred. And I've been so worried. Is everything all right? All right. Everything's all wrong. Where are they? Didn't they get away from the boat? Well, yes. Yes, of course, everything just as we'd planned. Well, they didn't meet me at Bird Island. I landed here right after dark, and I'm still waiting. What could have happened? I don't know. Well, all I can do is circle around again. Well, keep in touch with me, won't you? All right, Ann. This is QX9 signing off. QX9 signing off. Say anything? She no talk. She afraid. Yeah? She afraid big trouble come. Well, why didn't you stick around? You might have looked in the window or something. Me come quick. Tell them you. That girl's up to something. You sure you didn't overlook anything when you searched that house before? Mm, me no overlook them. You no say, tear them down house. If that girl found that bill of sale and brought it up here, we're sunk. Uh, I still think it's in that house somewhere. Listen, you stick around and don't you let that girl out of your sight, you understand? Mm, me do. That's what I call a nice night's work. We're a long way from being out of danger yet. Until we cross the token trail, we've got to make time. Where do we pick up the trail? Just a little ways upstream.
think we can move in a little closer. Right. We'll have this gold in our hideout by tomorrow. Come on, make it snappy. Eskimo, you know the trail. You better take the lead. opposite directions. Right. Look for Monty. He no be here for a long time. They have big gunfight in my place. Oh. Up on the hill, I bring horses. Did they catch the thieves? No, these bandits is get away. But one Monty, he's hurt very bad. Sergeant Renfro, he's bring him back in Kuno. And I think she died before she get here. Well, you don't mean Constable Kelly is uh, shot. We, oui. I go tell doctor to be ready. Oh. Lots of pain, old man? No. Take it easy, will you, pal? I, I want to talk. Remember that trouble we cleaned up on the Banjo River? That was a swell fight, wasn't it? I'll say. When we were floating home, you made up a song. Remember? Yeah. Sing it, will you? The crimson sunset and purple hills The plaintiff calling of whippoorwills The night wind sighing and whispering that the day is through The falling twilight, the rising moon the stars like windows will light up soon Two pals together and happy Cause the day is through The orders were tendered, our duties have ended 
I trust we never shall fail. Paddling down the river, heading for the end of the trail. To loyal buddies beneath the sun, to happy mountains when day is done. For crimson sunset and purple hills means heading home, heading He's lost a lot of blood. It's going to be a fight to save him. Oh, we've got to pull him through, Doctor. I'll do my best. Two R V B three calling Q X nine. Two R V B three calling Q X nine. to get you all night. The Mounties had a fight with our men and Constable Kelly was shot. Did the Mounties get them? No, they got away. How could Lamont do a thing like that? It beats me. I could kick myself for involving you in this. It was my job to see it through alone. No, my dear. If it had to be carried through, it was as much my responsibility as yours. I'd give anything to know what happened out there. Where are you going? To find out if Constable Kelly's been brought in. Crossed. Then it must have been McCluskey and the others who shot up Constable Kelly. They did? Yes. Gee, we're in a tough spot. We've got to get out and find them. Well, let's go. Well, what about Ann? We'll contact her from the plane. Is there anything I can do to help him? No. I know Kelly will be glad you said that. Well, he will pull through, won't he? Of course he will. Kelly's tough. He's got to pull through. Well, if he doesn't, it would be murder, wouldn't it? That's the legal term for it. Sergeant, can I see you outside for a minute? Certainly. I'll go away. She better not. Why did you say that about Miss Chambers? I'll tell you why. Because Miss Chambers is mixed up in this robbery. Mixed up in the robbery? That's right. What makes you say that? Well, Sergeant, everybody up here knows that after their father died, those Chambers kids laid claim to the ownership of my mine and made threats against me. Well, that doesn't prove anything. No. Well, her brother and Lamont, the foreman of my mine, have been hiding out in her cabin. And Lamont's the only one who knew about that shipment of gold. Indian Joe just saw them take off in a plane they had hidden away. But what about the men who shot Kelly? Must be part of the same gang. And I'll bet Chambers and Lamont are flying up there to meet them. Sergeant, I demand you arrest Miss Chambers immediately and make every effort to stop that plane. 
Very well, Mr. Harrington. There's two men in that plane. There's an old mining cabin up ahead. We can hide out there till after dark. Why? UX9 calling 2RBB3. UX9 calling 2RBB3. Come in, QX9. Ann, McCluskey double-crossed us, but we found him. Gemma's with me. He's okay, honey. Hello, QRBB3. Hello, QRBB3. You hear me? We found them. Yes, Fred, I heard you. I... They're heading up the port of trail. We'll get that gold back on other reason. Hello, QRBB3. Did you hear me? Hello. Oh, sir. Did you hear me? Why don't you answer? She doesn't answer because she's under arrest. Who's that? Brian Glenn, crew, and I'm advising you to come in and give yourself up. Lamont! Renfrew's got Anne. Hello. Hello. I dragged Fred and Jim into this. I'm the only one to blame. And what if something happens to Kelly? Are you ready to assume full responsibility for that, too? Well, yes, I am. Uh, it's bad business taking the law in your own hands. The law? What has the law ever done for us? My father borrowed money from friends to buy that mine. And then he was killed. And Harrington got on the stand and swore he never received that money. That my father took it intending to defraud his friends. The law upheld him and branded my father a thief. What else could I do but take that gold and give it back to the friends who trusted him? Well, when your father bought this mine, didn't he get a bill of sale? Well, yes, he did. But he told us that he did, and when Fred came up here and looked, he couldn't find it. Oh. oh, what's the use? You said I was under arrest. Why don't we go?
find a place to land. This makes it simple. The key's in the lock. Well, take it easy, will you? I don't want anyone to suspect we've been here. Shut that door. Mm. Can you feature him using a radio to pull off that job? It's sure tricky. Well, don't bother about that. Get busy. Hey, put everything back like it was. Mmm. Me look him through that many times. No find him nothing. What's the matter with you? Didn't I tell you to... Say... Well, what do you know about that? This bill of sale, buying between Dulles Harrington's seller and Ed Chambers' buyer... Say, better burn that right now, and then we'll know for sure it's out of the way. I think you're right. I wouldn't burn that if I were you. I'll take that paper. Miss Chambers? You were right about that bill of sale. Oh, that's it. That's a forgery. Another trick of Miss Chambers. You seem to think it was important enough to burn. Mr. Harrington, you're under arrest for Mr. Chambers' murder. For murder? That's right. You sold him the mine, then arranged his accidental death before he could record the bill of sale. You can't prove that. I can have an awfully good try at it. Look out! your claim and your charges. Sergeant Renfrew, they're hiding in a miner's cabin above the totem trail. Looks like they have to go with them. Oh. Fred! Fred! That's all I want to know. Come on. Hello to RBB3. Come in to RBB3. Something. 
Something's wrong. They've gone. So they took your gun. They're heading for a miner's cabin up above the totem trail. Fred's up there after the men who shot Kelly. Take it easy. Oh, Doc, I've got to get out there and help Renfro. He, he can't get along without me. I tell you, I've got to go. You do nothing of the kind. Now, you stay in bed if I have to tie you in. Huh. Uh, I'll bet Renfro told you to keep me in bed so he could grab off all the glory. That big stiff. <laughs> Now you be nice little boys and don't run away. I'll be back for you later. Ooh, ouch! Stop pulling your sap, we can't get loose. Have you gotten me into this? Now get me out.
pick themselves a swell spot. We don't dare get out in that clearing. Yeah, if they hold us off till after dark, they're a cinch to get away. And purple hills I'll always 